Hi, my name's Carol and this is Hummingbird Spot. Today we're back in Colombia at Rojitama Biodiversidad. Rogitama Biodiversidad is a reserve near the town of Arcabuco, which is about a three, three and a half hour drive north of Bogota. It encompasses 80 acres of land, which was purchased in 1982 by Dr. Roberto Chavarro. Now, when he purchased this land, it was a barren wasteland. It was desecrated by overgrazing, and there wasn't a native tree or a native plant on it. It didn't support any wildlife. Now, Dr. Chavarro was a conservationist, and his dream was to revert this land back to its original state. And this reserve shows you what can be done if you really have a mind to it. Dr. Chavarro started planting native trees and native plants. And now this land supports wildlife and it has been reverted to its original pristine state. The Black Inca is an endemic hummingbird that was listed as critically endangered, but thanks to the efforts of Dr. Chavado, the black Inca found its way onto this reserve and this is now a protected habitat for it. This bird is also known as the Prince of Arcabuco. And if you ever want to see this bird, this is where to find it. The black Inca is a dark black and brown hummingbird with a white patch on the side of its neck and a bright iridescent blue patch of feathers on the top of its shoulders. This species is now pretty easy to find here at Rojitama and we were able to get great photos and video of him. There's lodging here at Rojitama and there's a large wraparound porch with hummingbird feeders hanging and the porch overlooks lots of flowering plants with lots of blossoms. So you have a lot of opportunities to photograph. The short-tailed emerald comes here and feeds on the feeders and this bird is only found in Colombia and Western Venezuela. This was also a new species for me. The male is beautiful, glittering green with a darker tail. There were lots of old friend hummingbirds here, like the lesser violet ear. He's everywhere. We see him in a lot of countries, but I can't not photograph this bird. He's just so beautiful. There was also a male white-bellied wood star that was displaying to a female. I wish we had gotten this on video, but I'm glad I at least got a photograph. The buff-tailed coronet was here and also the tourmaline sun angel. I did see this bird in Ecuador, but he would perch right near the porch, keeping his eyes on some flowers that he was protecting. But William Oriana got his best video of this beautiful bird here at Rojitama. I got what turned out to be my favorite picture of the entire upcoming Columbia trip right here at Rojitama, the Lajoline Saberwing. <laughs> this bird is so beautiful and this male was perched right near the porch and I happened to be photographing just when he decided to open his mouth for a yawn. The Lajoline Saberwing is found in the Andes Mountains from Venezuela down to Ecuador. I looked for one in Ecuador, but I never got to see one there, so I was really happy this guy showed up. This bird has bright blue underparts with an emerald green back and a distinctive maroon tail. Beautiful, beautiful bird. Isabel Chavado, Don Roberto's daughter, and her husband, Awad Neme, stayed with us all day, and they took us to a little museum on the property that shows how this reserve was rebuilt from nothing into what it is today. 
Before we left, we all posed for a picture with Isabel and Awad, William Oriana, Steve Sanchez, our friend and guide from Peru, and Johan Flores, our local Colombia guide and driver with Mannequin Tours. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell because next Sunday we're going to La Colera Hummingbird Garden, known locally as Observatorio de Colibris, La Colera. See you next Sunday.